I'm Tyson with Adventure Rig. Cal and I are out here in Moab where we've really gotten a lot of use out of our Outdoor Tech Turtle Shell 2.0 speaker. Now we've had this all winter long. We've used it quite extensively. Numerous situations from in the garage working on motorcycles to building a fence in our backyard for three weeks to here in Moab. I've been really impressed with a lot of different qualities that the Turtle Shell has. The main one though is how much battery life it has on standby. So if it's in off or even if it's left on and it goes into standby mode, I've left it in the garage through the winter for weeks on end in freezing cold temperatures where a normal battery would die. Gone out there and thought, shoot, I didn't have this thing plugged in. There's no way it's gonna have any battery life. And it has had nearly a full charge on it. it has 700 hours of standby battery life, which is incredible. It has 16 hours of playtime. And then we found in a normal wall outlet in the house, it'll charge in under four hours. Now the concept behind the turtle shell is pretty cool. You can see it has a unique design to it. It has two speakers in it with a lot of different holes throughout the entire thing. This is gonna help it to get the sound out in multiple different directions, give you a really nice listening experience. On the exterior, you have your on off button, as well as your volume, fast forward, rewind, play, pause buttons. And on this side, you can charge it with a micro USB, which is great because 90% of what we have from headlamps to cell phones, micro USB. And you can also plug directly into this with a phone or an iPod or anything like that if you don't want to connect wirelessly or through Bluetooth. One thing we found that with the Bluetooth, they claim about a 30 foot range. We have good and bad with our ranges. Sometimes it's not bad. We can put the phone 20 feet from it. But when we were trying to build our fence, we were having a lot of issues with if we put our phone in our pocket and we were 10 feet from it, it would cut in and out. So what we ended up having to do was actually just put the phone right underneath it or right near it. And then it wasn't a big deal. But I was just having issues trying to keep the phone connected and not cutting in and out on this particular model that we have. Now I'm going to go ahead. I've got Callie's phone connected right now through Bluetooth and it's on pause. So I'm going to go ahead and hit play. You guys can kind of maybe hear what this can do. Now, right now, this is as quiet as it gets, which is nothing. If I go one up on it, it's pretty quiet. If you're around at camp, this is kind of the, I'm not a douchebag mode. You're not going to be blowing your speakers and annoying all the campers around you. If you do want to be a douchebag, you can turn it up and it gives a pretty good amount of sound out of it. I'm being a douchebag right now. So I'm going to turn it down. And pause it. So the 2.0 does have a lot of sound that you can push out of it. If it's not enough for you, you can up the size of this and they make other sizes available. But for our needs, this is definitely big enough. Some really nice features that we found with this while building our fence is that it's dust proof and highly water resistant. In Colorado, we have a lot of rainstorms that come through in the springtime. This got plenty wet, as well as we dropped it out of the wheelbarrow as we were moving around the yard. And we've dropped it off this picnic table and on rocks with this nice rubber exterior. It withstands quite a bit of abuse and it's still gonna keep on kicking, which is great. We found a lot of really great qualities in Outdoor Tech's products like that. Again, this is the Turtle Shell 2.0. It's gonna give you plenty of sound, whether you're out camping at your local crag or building a fence in your backyard. Thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them below. I'm Tyson with Adventure Rig.